Good afternoon friends, this is Pradeep from Tech and Training Corporate Solutions once again with a new video on Power BI. In this video, we are going to see how do we create the report based on fiscal year. It is very easy to create the report based on Jan to December calendar, but just in case if your country or your organization demands the report in fiscal year, that is the year starting from April to March or in some countries it goes from July to June. In such cases, how do we create the report? Because this is not the default behavior of Power BI or Excel. Although I'm going to show you these techniques in Power BI, but the same formula can be applied in Excel as well. So let's jump into the demonstration and see how do we go ahead and create the report based on fiscal year. So friends, before we go ahead and learn about how do we create this, may I request you to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get the notification. So here I go to my recent sources and I click on access database. Now I'm going to import a database from access. So here are my access tables and I'm only going to import BI sales fact and I will click on edit. Once I click on edit, the power query window opens up and here I see the date column. I click on the date column and change it to date formatting. So here I have changed the data type to date and now I will simply click on close and apply. This is going to import huge amount of data in Power BI. As you can see that it's loading the data into data model and this data is pretty huge. As you can see that it has imported more than 1 million records so far and it is still counting. Let's jump into our data and we see that here is the complete fax sales data downloaded into Power BI. Now what I want to do is in order to create the normal year report or fiscal year calendar report, we have to have the calendar table. Although Power BI automatically creates the calendar table, the moment it detects the date field in the data. But we can also create our own calendar table based on our requirement. So I'm going to talk about how do you create your own calendar table or date table in Power BI. I go to modeling tab and here I select the option new table. I can create a date table using a simple DAX function. I type date table equal to the DAX function is calendar auto function. This calendar auto function is a dynamic function which automatically looks into my database, finds the earliest data and the latest date and it generates the dates between these two dates. It generates a date based on fiscal year. So I just have to give one input parameter which is fiscal year end month. Here I type 3 because in India fiscal year ends in the month of March. You can even type 6 just in case if your fiscal year ends with June. The moment I press enter, you will see that my date starts from 1st of January, which is the first date of the fiscal year. And it will it continues till the last date of the fiscal year uh, based on the date it has detected. Now, as I see that this is the date and time format or data type, I will change this to only date. After getting this date, I will go ahead and create the columns as per my requirement. So the first column that I create is day. So I write a DAX function day equal to day function and date. Now I'll have to get the day name. In order to get the day name, I create a column day name equal to, I write format. Here it is asking me for value. I select value comma double quote D double quote. Now here I need day name that is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on and so forth. So I use this format function and when I press enter, you will see that it has generated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is nothing but day. I add one more D and let's see the change. When I add one more D, you will be surprised to see that it changes from single digit to double digit. Let me add one more D because this is not something that I need. So I add three Ds and I exactly get what I want. But the problem with this is it is it has only first three characters that is 
S-U-N, M-O-N, and so on and so forth. I need the complete spelling, so I add one more D. Please do not type more Ds because it won't give you anything. This is the last uh, answer. Friends, now you have seen how do we convert a date into a day name. The same feature is available in Excel as well, but there the function is not format, it's text. We can use text function to convert any date into day name in Excel. In Power BI, we have format function. Let's go ahead and learn one more way to calculate month. Uh, here, I would like to calculate month number. I can simply use the function as month, which is available in Excel as well. But this is Power BI, so I am going to use a slightly different method. I open the square bracket, select the date column, dot, I type month, month number, and I press enter. So this is giving me all the month number. Now, let me create the month name also, equal to similar way, date, dot, month, enter, and see here we have got April, May, and June. Similarly, I can calculate the quarter as well, but let me calculate the quarter towards the end. Uh, I am adding here, equal to date, dot, year, enter so now it has given me the date month and year let's go ahead and calculate the quarter number now quarter number is not as simple as equal to quarter function in excel or in power bi so here what do we do is i will use a function which is available in excel as well that ceiling function so let's jump into excel and let me just quickly tell you what exactly ceiling does so if I go ahead and use the ceiling function, here I have the legacy function ceiling is asking me for the number that is one, two, three, four, five. These are nothing but the month number. And I type the significance of three. You will see that automatically one has converted into three. Two is also three. Three is also three. But four, five, six are rounded up to multiples of 3 that is 6, 7, 8, 9 again multiples of 3 which is 9, 10, 11, 12 which is again multiples of 3 which is 12. This is 3, 6, 9 and 12. I don't need this but I do need 1, 2, 3. So I'll simply divide this number by 3 and you will see that here 1, 2, 3, month number 1, 2, 3 that is Jan, Feb, March are uh, quarter number 1, 4, 5, 6 quarter number 2, 7, 8, 9 quarter number 3, 10, 11, 12 quarter number 4. Sim I will use the similar logic in Power BI also. So I go to new column and I say quarter number equal to ceiling function. Number is month number. Significance is 3 divided by 3 as we did earlier. So here you see I've got the quarter number. Let me write the proper quarter equal to double quote QTR ampersand quarter number. So here you can see that we have got quarter number two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Here we have got year, month, quarter, day, everything. Let me quickly jump into my visualization and create a year-wise, quarter-wise report. So I simply select the matrix, increase the table and I drag year into rows, quarter into columns and revenue into values, right? You'll be surprised to see that all these values are the same. That is because when we created another table, which is date table, we have not connected it to our sales fact table. So in order to establish the connection, we'll go to the relationships mode and here, we will connect this date with this date by just dragging a line into date table and see here we have got the date table. So this is nothing but one to many relationship. Now I go back to my visualization and you will be happy to see that these are giving me the actual values. So in order to fit this in, let me do some formatting. As you can see that we have got the value 
Now, similarly, let me create a normal year wise, month wise, quarter wise report. So uh, let me create a table here. And here I select year wise, quarter wise, month wise revenue. As you can see that here the year is getting added. So I click on year and select don't summarize. And I will copy the formatting from this table and paste it here. So friends, here you will see that this is quarter wise, sorry, year wise, quarter wise, month wise report. But you will be surprised to see that the month is not arranged in a normal monthly order. It is arranged in alphabetical order. So I will go to my data sheet, click on the month column. Go to modeling tab, select sort column by and select month number. The moment I do this, you will see that it has now sorted the date in proper manner that is Jan, Feb, March and Jan, Feb, March. So I've got the date properly. Okay. Since I've got these two report, my requirement is to create the report in fiscal year calendar. Over here, I will create fiscal year. But unfortunately, I do not have fiscal year column. So let's create a fiscal year quarter and fiscal year column. So I add a new column. And here, the logic is very simple. If the month is less than or equal to three, then it's a different quarter. And if it is greater than or equal to four, then it's a different quarter. Let's look into this Excel file and understand if the month number is less than four, then it is quarter one in normal calendar. But in fiscal year calendar, it is quarter four. Yeah. But if the month number is greater than or equal to four, that is, let's say four, five, six in normal quarter, it's quarter two. But in fiscal year, it is quarter one. That means two minus one is one. In normal case, month number 789 is quarter 3, but in fiscal year, it is 3 minus 1, quarter 2. Similarly, October, November, December, which is 10, 11, 12, which happens to be fourth quarter in normal calendar. In fiscal year, it is quarter number 3, that is quarter number 4 minus 1 is quarter number 3. So considering this logic, we write a DAX function here, that is FYQQTR equal to if month number is less than four then it is quarter four right that means jan feb march is the last quarter in the financial year because my fiscal year ends with march so i write it quarter number four comma otherwise that means if the month number is greater than or equal to four that is five six seven eight nine and so on and so forth till twelve this is quarter ampersand quarter number minus one. So whatever is the quarter number, we will subtract one from it if it is not one, two, three. So I close the bracket and press enter and see here it is quarter number four. This, uh, sorry, this is uh, month number four. That is April, May, June is the first quarter in fiscal year. July, August, September is the second quarter in fiscal year. October, November, December is the third quarter in fiscal year. Got it? So here we have got the complete quarter, financial quarter. Similarly, we go to the year. So friends, when we talk about fiscal year, when it is Jan, Feb, March, that is the last quarter of the fiscal year, the formula is current year minus one to current year. So that means this is 2010. So as per this formula, current year minus one. So 2010 minus one is 2009 to current year. That is 2010. So this is going to be, these three months are going to be fiscal year 2009, 2010. So from April to December, this formula is not going to be current year minus one to current year, but it will be current year to current year plus one. That means if month is greater than or equal to four, that is quarter number two, quarter number three, quarter number four of fiscal year, 
fiscal year will be current year to current year plus one. So 2010 to current year plus one. So 2010 plus one, 2011. So 2010, 2011. So now for Jan, Feb, March, the fiscal year will be the formula that is applicable is current year minus one. That is 2011 minus one, which is 2010 to current year that is 2011 yeah so that is how the fiscal year gets calculated so let's use the same logic in our power bi so i go ahead and create a new column that is fiscal year that is fy equal to i write the function if month number less than four then if it is less than four our logic says current year minus one to current year right so i go ahead and write f f y and year minus one ampersand double quote space hyphen double quote ampersand comma now i'll just copy this and paste it here because our new formula for the month greater than or equal to four if it is not less than four this statement will be applicable and there the formula says current year to current year plus one so similarly i go ahead this is current year to current year plus one I have written the same formula and you can see that it has given me the exact fiscal year. If it is less than 4, the formula is current year minus 1 to current year. But if it is greater than or equal to 4, the formula becomes current year to current year plus 1. Yeah. So we have got the two column which is fiscal year. So now we have got fiscal year and fiscal year quarter. Let us come to fiscal year report. I will go ahead and create the matrix again what we did earlier I add fiscal year quarter to columns fiscal year to rows and revenue to values copy the formatting of the table and paste it here so here is our calculation for fiscal year so we have removed the row subtotal so this is the uh, fiscal year versus quarter number and now I click here for the normal report so here I have fiscal year fiscal year quarter month name and the revenue I again copy the formatting from this table and put it here so see here uh, if I talk about my fiscal year 9899 happens to be the first and 992000 from here it starts till the last of the entire data so friends now you will see that with these two simple techniques i've been able to create a simple fiscal year report and as i mentioned earlier the same formula can be used in excel as well so friends, if you see, this is a simple technique in Power BI to create a fiscal year calendar table and create the reports based on fiscal year. So friends, I think you have liked this video. And if you have liked it, I will strongly recommend you to like, share, comment, and do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get the early notification to all my videos. So this is my one more attempt to spread the information about power bi and other productivity tools keep watching more videos thank you very much